Let's Play Project Zomboid. Now, if you remember to the last time, I'm actually starting a new game. So, we're going to spawn in West Point. I believe there is a little smaller town on the north end of the map. Oh, definitely have to check that out. A lot of changes have actually happened, which is why I'm going to go ahead and start up with a new save. Hopefully, we'll get pretty far into this one without starting again. And I saw the NPC update, which is actually going to be happening three months, a few months. So, that could be anywhere from like two to six months is what I'm thinking. I mean, it probably won't take half a year, but like two to four months is more kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if he's going to release an experimental build of that or if he's just going to wait until it's done, but I'm interested to kind of see more on the NPC topic. There is a Mondoid on it if you want to go ahead and read that. So zombie lore, we are going to be using Shamblers, and pretty much everything here I'm going to put on poor and leave everything else over here the same. Day length to start month, I'm gonna bump back to February. Start time 7 a.m. Water shut off, I'm gonna put zero to six. Loot rarity, I'm gonna put on normal. Temperature and rain are going to stay at the normal. So here we are, Jonathan Garcia. I will go ahead and actually actually he looks pretty good the way he is. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that. So I've already had a build sort of worked out here, and it's actually working pretty well. I've played, like, probably an hour with it. Light drinker, all of this. Let me see. What other one did I take? Short-tempered, yes. Okay, and I'm going to go with athletic, which will allow me to run faster. And I'm going to go with strong, which is going to tremendously increase my strength. My, well, melee capabilities. These are the end times. So I think this is always going to be the same intro. It's always been the same intro. And I think it will continue to be the same intro. I think that is what really, you know, the intro is always going to stay in this game. It's, it's kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's going to work on every single OS. And if it doesn't, then what the heck just happened? Every single Windows OS, that is, Tycoon. This is how you died. So yeah, I think this I think this intro will always be here, and I think it'll always remind me of the old classical sort of, you know, Project Zomboid. It'll remind you of the old times, and it's it's a pretty good intro, to be honest. This is how you died. Loading. Come on. So I already know sort of where I want to build a base. It's just a matter of finding where I spawn and finding where that is. I don't want the freaking egg. I can stay out of here. Oops. Clicked on my sound. Okay. A dead rat. Uh, we can actually eat that. But I'm not going to. Because <laughs> that's a pretty dumb idea. Um, unless I'm really hungry, I don't. I don't really see a need to eat it. Unless you're dying. And you need to eat something. So we can make roasted vegetables. Vegetables. Quit primary. That's going to be our primary. Dead pans are going to be our pro um, weapons in the beginning. Coffee. Oops, I don't want to. Nope. Crap. Tuna. Okie dokie. Now, what do we have on the shelf? Okay, that's not actually food. I want to take magazines, newspapers, books. Because later on, those are going to keep me from going insane, especially when I'm doing long wait-outs of time. If I could make, like, I don't know, three-year survival, I would be happy with that. Alright, nothing in this house. Let's go further. Looks like this guy actually has a place already set up for his farms nice that's all right though we're gonna be making our own uh, it looks like I, I didn't spawn where i wanted to mm. if i can find the bar or the little produce store or church the little produce store Right outside on the edge of town. I can find where my house is. 
don't know. We might have to make a little makeshift base just until I find it. Let's see. Is there actually piano? piano? Can I play the piano? No. Okay. Okay, she didn't actually bite me. Wow, you are a tough one! Jeez! A rubber ducky! Uh, I'll take the vitamins. I don't, I don't really need the rubber ducky. But I'll make that sheet into bandages, because I didn't already do that. I feel accomplished that I found a rubber ducky. I really do. Filing cabinets, anything? Magazines? I'll take it. Looks like we've got a sort of conference room in here. I don't think there's really going to be anything good in there. What is this? Vest. Fridge. I'll have a, gladly take all your food, church. Yay, seeds. Coffee, ramen. More seeds. Flour. Instant popcorn. That's looking like it. Okay, so let me see if I can actually open up this window. I should be able to open up all the windows from inside and all the doors from the inside. You I think you can open them. Okay, well, our house is definitely not down here. What? Whoa, what was that? Something just crashed. Alright, so this is not the way. I'm gonna have to do some exploring and at night taking refuge in other houses, eating the food that's on me before the food that's in the house. Just until I find my house. I think it's more on the north side. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know this map at all. Crap. I'll go off to the right here. This is a lot of zombies. Which is why I don't like the cities. Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna piss off every single zombie on this road. Is that the, uh, I remember being at this place. I think the trailer park's down here, right? That's a storage place. Storage units. I'm thirsty. That's a problem. Oh, cabbages get rid of thirst. burger place. Although that's not what I'm looking for. A repair shop it looks like over there. I'm curious, can you actually like make your own power supply? Like your own generator? Things like that once the power goes out so that way you can have the option of actually having power once it's ran out, you know? I think if you could do something like that, it's that's amazing. Oh, come, come on. It's a freaking convenience store. Why is it locked? Sorry, but that does not make sense to me at all. I'll eat those strawberries. So those strawberries give me thirst. Come on, they're like really juicy. Yes, they do. So it's looking like it's not down here either. What's this? Is this a school? Yeah, it is. Well, it's not down here either, so 
Better go up to the north. Why are you scared for? They're they're just zombies. They're people too. Just dead people. They're people, but they're dead. They're dead people. What the heck is this? Can you climb over these? Like I've been really been irking me. Can I can you? Can you like smash through them? That sucks. It's a construction site. Which isn't exactly what I want. Uh, off to the right, maybe? Maybe. Got some train tracks. I don't think it's down here. Yep, I'm going back. I know that there's like a little convenience store right next to where it is. Is this another school? Oh, it's a Kmart. No, no, it's a Gigmart. <laughs> Not a Kmart, a Gigmart. Oh, wow, there's a lot of food in there. Okay, so that might be a place to come back if we ever need food. I'm thinking the where I'm gonna want to go is more on the northern end. Oh, hey, there's that little uh thing, the chimpanzee that's on all the trading cards. I know that he said he's going to incorporate some type of like Steam inventory trading system on multiplayer for this, which is, that actually sounds pretty pretty cool. I'll be doing some Steam trading cards. Trading, I'll, I'll be trading my Steam cards on Project Zomboid. Whoever thought. Okay, it, might, it might be up here. I mean, heck, even if I find another, like, little secluded house, I'll be fine with it, as long as it's not really near anything. I'll be good with something like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be the exact house that I was at before. I might be doing a lot of running through the city here. Because this is looking like it's on the other side. And my inventory is pretty much full. Wow, watermelons get rid of a lot of thirst. Although that is a whole watermelon. That gets rid of more thirst than a whole soda does. I find that interesting. What do we got over here? Another neighborhood? Yeps. Yeps, yeps, yeps. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how far I'm going to actually have to run to find this or find a place even remotely like it. There's a little shit over there. I mean, I could stop to check out a few of these houses, but dehydrated. I have to stop at a house for a drink really quickly. Can I drink out of these? 
always had that question. That would doing it. That would be pretty hilarious, though. Oh, park. Can I go up the slide? Oh, I can't. Can I go on the swing? No, I can run through it, though. See, there it is. There it is. It's... What did, did I go up? Yeah, it's this way. It's all the way back here. I think. Can't quite remember. Is it all the way back here? I'm gonna keep going this way. I think it's this way. Because there's that little uh, bar that I was talking about. Okay, it's not down this way. So it has to be the other way then, because I remember that little bar place. I remember it's it's near here. It's near here. It has to be. Or maybe that's the wrong bar. Or maybe it's near here. I think it I think off this way because up there is the sort of residential area so I think it's maybe I don't even know and I'm just walking into more of the city Ooh, excuse me oh my god Please tell me it's down here. If not, I might just go for that house. Oh, yeah. Th th see, I remember that one. Gunshots. I'm very tired because, heck, I would be heck, I would be tired. This guy's been running for eight hours. The house is all the way up here, by the way. I, I remember. I remember now. So I think, I think you need a knife to open up the cans of tuna. Or a can opener? No, I, no, no, you, no, no, no. You need a can opener. You might be able to do it with a knife, but I think the can opener is the proper tool to use there. We should be good on water, because once we get to the house, yeah. See, here's that huge like mansion house, and then it should be the next one up here. I'm very tired, so I'm just gonna go there. Get in one of the beds, head to sleep. Actually, I'll get probably get a drink before that. And I think this one has an alarm, so I'm gonna have to be kind of careful of that. Crap. Come on, come on, you old fart. There you go. You gonna die? Okay, I think this might set off an alarm. I don't know how to set this off. Okay, I might have to sleep in one of the other houses. I'm going to the other house. Because that is going to attract the fuck out of zombies. So I'll just, I'll just sleep in this house for tonight. So yeah, those gunshots aren't actually anything. They're just noises to move around zombies, I guess. I thought they were NPCs initially. Oh god, I'm chilly. Now I'm cold. Now I'm chilly. Well, I mean, that should happen. It is February. So... 
sleeping tablets. Do you have a sweater on? Yes, we do. Okay, so I'll take this sheet, because I'm going to need that to bar, bar up one of those uh, windows. Yeah, I could get a drink from that. I think there's a sink over at that one, though. That one has a microwave. It does not have an oven. It has a microwave. Yeah, no zombies on this. So I want to take all of the crap off of one of these, switch it to the other one. Magazine, newspaper, okie dokie, and, oh, no, 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 I didn't want to climb through that. I wanted to add the sheet and then close it. Okay. I'll eat, I'll eat a half of the pie. And I need a drink. So yeah, there's no fridge here. It's, it's a microwave. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there something knocked down my door? I just heard something. No? Okay. My imagination. Be. A school bag, which I will take. We're gonna need more sheets from that other house. So I'm gonna take all the forks and like plastic bags and kind of useless stuff and put them somewhere else. Instant popcorn I will put in there. All my non perishables are gonna go into my counters. And all the other stuff will go into the fridge. Now the fridge has a limited amount of space. I'm going to have a lot more space in these counters, so I'll usually end up with a ton more non-perishable items. Okay, so in here I'll put my corn and probably leave out that cabbage so I can eat it later. But this will drastically change the living time of my food. Put the watermelon in there. Nothing in a can or anything like that needs to be put in there. The apple in there. <coughs> Fresh uncooked dead mouse. So I will actually take that and that might seem gross but I'm going to put that with my other food and if I ever need to cook it. Hey it's food and this is the apocalypse right? <laughs> oh it's, it's going to be funny eating that isn't it? Okay let's go ahead and drop these knives, drop the fork, plastic bag, somebody's breaking my windows down, aren't they? Fuck, yes they are. Fuck. Can I turn the shower on? Oh, I can drink from the shower head, but I can't actually turn it on. No, 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 no. That makes perfect sense to me. So I'll put my meds and gardening tools up here. I'm going to drop my spoons. Okay, we're all good. We're all good here. So, we have found our base, our hiding spot. This is pretty much where I'm going to be the whole game. I mean, there's a huge forest in the backyard. Maybe I can... I think you can make your own houses. Not entirely sure. But I think you can make your own houses. So, thanks for watching, guys. You know, it's been a blast. If you haven't seen the previous Project Zomboid episodes and you want to, go ahead and click the playlist annotation above. If you want more, leave me a like, leave me a comment. It really helps out a lot, guys. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Matt from Studios signing out. Bye, boys!